A turntable may not finish your piece for you, but it will turn your finished pieces. Stick around and I'll show you how I made this one. If this video helped you out, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And always appreciate new subscribers. Alright, so I've got three discs cut out. I trace the old plate to the microwave and just cut these out with the jigsaw. I've got the little wheels that support the plate, the motor, and this thing. And so before you start, you'll want to have all this stuff together and ready. We're going to mount these on a face plate so that uh, we got some screws all the way through to about halfway here. You don't want to break the laminate, the, the last piece here, because that's going to be whatever all your pieces sit on. But I'm going to mount this up to a face plate. The face plate's going to be here. Screws are going to go through and stop hopefully halfway here through this piece of plywood, and then we're going to get it on the lathe and start turning out the pieces we need to make our turntable. All right, so I've already put this on the lathe, kind of smoothed the edges here. I hit that with some sandpaper real quick. But now that I've got my top done, I'm going to take my screws out, take this top plate off, and then work on the next plate. Okay, so I've taken that top plate off. You can now see the second one. Now you can grind these screws off or use some shorter ones so that they're not spinning around but I'm just gonna leave them so I'll have to look out for them but there's two grooves you're gonna make on this piece you're gonna make a track for this here and you're gonna hollow you're gonna turn this out right here so that this can sit in there I'm just gonna turn it out just a little bit so that it sets flush in there and then I'll epoxy that in and that'll be the second that'll be the bottom of my turntable the bottom of the top piece it'll be two pieces together and this one will go on the the bottom of that other piece so i'm gonna turn that down now i'm not gonna make y'all watch it but i'll get back when i'm done all right so i've got these cut out my tracks for this when it spins and for this to be epoxied in to actually turn everything now i'm going to take this second plate off and on the first plate, I'm going to put another track here so that when I, when they're sitting on top of each other, it'll be in the tracks on each one of them. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to take this one off so that I can work on the next one. Okay, so I've got my second plate off. What I'm going to do is take a measurement from the outside to this first track. I'm just going to make my measurements here, and I'm going to mark them here so that I'll know where to put the track on this one. Once I've got those marked and spin it around and get a line, I'll cut the track out to match that one. Alright, so we've got all three plates finished up. There are still a couple things you need to do to the base. Now, I've got four little rubber feet here. I'm not sure where they come from, but I save stuff off of projects all the time. I've drilled these pilot holes just around the outside. I'm going to attach all of these in here. And to mount the motor, what I'm going to do is, since I've already drilled my hole, and found, find as close to center as you can, and drill your hole out on the base to make sure that this piece on the motor will stick up through there and won't have anything keeping it from turning very well. So what I'm going to do mark where I want this motor try to get it as close to center flip it over without moving it see if we can mark these all right there's my pilot hole marks Alright, so I got my pilot holes for my motor drilled. And what we're going to do is attach everything now. I'm going to attach that last
make sure those were the right holes. Now this you may have to do a couple of times until it's the motor straight just in case it wiggles a little bit. All right, that's pretty close to center. Now we're going to hook our cord up and see if we can't get something spinning. Motor I got out of the microwave. Some other wires I got out of the microwave. I've already stripped these. Cord that came off of an old belt sander that doesn't, uh, they don't make belts the right size for it and I don't feel like making my own. I chose this one because both of these plugs here are the same size so when I plug this motor in if it's going reverse I can just flip this over and get it going in a clockwise direction basically once you get your motor out of the microwave wire it up real quick what I'm gonna do is just connect these to here tape them and then put some heat shrink tubing on them and then we'll have our motor wired up All right, so we've got our motor wired up and hooked to our base. Set that over for now. We still need to epoxy this into place and attach these two. Now that's the top one and the second one. So what I'm gonna do is just, I'll probably just put some short screws back through here to hold everything together and mix up some epoxy to hold that in and then we'll give it a test run all right so we've got this epoxied in I've just screwed these together for now if it works out I'll leave it if not I'll fix it but let's see what we've got And there's our turntable. <laughs> 